sorts of shapes and sizes in geometry. Our scores, it's a close game tonight. Chris is on 31, Trevor just six ahead on 37. We have our last games to come. And Trevor, last letters, please. Thanks, Richard. Lily, can I have a consonant, please? T. And another consonant? C. Vowel, please. E. Another vowel. O. Consonant. F. Another consonant. D. A vowel. A. Another vowel. I. And a consonant, please. And lastly, R. Time to think. Six. And Chris? I also got a six. Let's have yours first. I got crated. Did you have crated, Trevor? Very close. I had carted. Carted. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we don't have to verify those, but uh, same letters, don't Yeah, you? that's right. Now they're doing anagrams of each other. <laughs> yeah, look, we, we know that they're good sixes. Uh, this is quite a tight game now. And what did you find here? Uh, well, uh, yeah, an eight-letter word after Lily's own heart, and that's factored. Very nice find. And six each, Trevor and Chris. Well, it's time for our final numbers for tonight. And uh, actually, Chris, a certain number, 89, means something quite special to you today. Yep, it's my uh, grandma's 89th birthday today, so I have to do well in the numbers game now. For her. Absolutely, do it for grandma tonight. All right, what combination would you like? Um, can I have one large and five small again, please? One large and five small. And what's your grandma's name, Chris? Mary. Mary. Well, happy birthday, Mary. This is a... A happy birthday numbers game. One, five, two, three, eight, and the large is 25. And the target is 584. Let's chase it. Grandma's birthday, how did you go with the math solution? I think I've got it, 584. Excellent result. Trevor, what about you? I'm outside the range. You're outside. Bad luck. So, Chris, what did you do to get there? Well, I think 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. 5 by 3 is 15. Plus the 8 is 23. Plus the 8 is 23. 25 plus 1 is 26. 25 plus 1 is 26. Um, I'm gonna multiply those together. I'm hoping it's 582. I think that's 598. Oh, so you've made a mistake there, Chris. Oh, bad luck. Well, it was a, it was a very interesting looking try, um, but unfortunately nothing from Trevor or Chris there. Lily, uh, how did you go with this one? Yeah, it was really tricky, Richard, um, and you had to kind of tweak in the middle of the solution instead of the beginning of the solution, which is what I usually do. Mm, OK, show um, us some central tweaking. Sure, <laughs> central tweaking. <laughs> now, 25 by 8 is 200. And here comes the tweaking. Um, 300, uh, sorry, 200 minus 5 by the 3 is 200 by the 3, which is 600 um, minus 15, which is 585, and then minus the 1 is 584. Ah, a triumph of central tweakage. Great solution, Lily. Unfortunately, nothing for Trevor or Chris. Bad luck, so the score's unchanged. Chris, 37. Trevor, 43. And with 10 points at stake in this final round and only six points between them, it means that we will have a conundrum decider. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. Trevor, very quick. Equitable. I think you have done it. Let's check on the board here. 
And yes, indeed it is. Equitable. So with those additional 10 points, our winner tonight on 53 is Trevor. Well, that word equitable really was uh, one of those ones that applied very much to the play tonight. You both scored so many of the, uh, the same words and the same score. It was a, a very equitable game. But eventually, we had to uh, have a winner. Uh, but Chris, you did play a great game. There were some terrific words all the way through. Yep. Uh, and, uh, of course, happy birthday to your grandmother. Thank you. And good luck on your travels. Thank you very much. And, of course, a Macquarie Dictionary to take with you. Excellent. Trevor, great finish with that conundrum. That was only a couple of seconds or so. Terrific way to wrap up. Thanks, Richard. It was a very close game. Uh, could have gone either way. But it went your way. You'll be back in the champion's chair tomorrow. Thank you. Well, that was a great start to the week, David. But, you know, I reckon you should wear the potato badge with pride. <laughs> Spuds rock. <laughs> Absolutely. See you tomorrow night, David. See you then. See you tomorrow, Lily. Good night, Richard. And it was a great night. Great start to the week. A marvellous Monday here on Livers and Numbers. And I uh, hope you scored well if you were playing at home. Back tomorrow night, same time. Good night.